the whole missing in action debacle where um, he disappeared for a couple of weeks. I don't know if any of you guys have been following this story, but I definitely have been following this story. And in no way what I'm about to say is trying to shame her or make her seem like she's a bad person for what she experienced. I'm just speaking on my opinion based off of the things that she's already admitted to. And she admitted in certain videos and lives that she was acting out of desperation to be with this man because she felt like her time was ticking in regards to having a family and to be in marriage and having the dream life that she wanted for herself. And then, like I said, in no way am I trying to shame her, but this is what happens when you move in desperation. And y'all know that it's the biggest ticket item I speak about on my page is not being desperate. You're going to get something strange when you act out of desperation. Life is going to be shitty when you make your decisions and your moves out of desperation. I will very, very much rather for you guys to go without than to have things that you acquired out of actions of desperation. It's never going to work out for you. It's, it's just not. I don't know one person, not one person, who has made a move out of desperation who is winning right now. Not one. Not one person. And it may even look like they're winning on the outside, but on the inside, I guarantee you it's turmoil and destruction just brewing inside of their spirit. You have to be strong enough to say no. You have to have enough belief in yourself to know that when you say no, something better is going to come down the pipeline. It may not be when you want it to happen, but it's going to happen when you choose yourself first, when you make yourself the highest priority, when you realize that you are the shit and you don't deserve bottom barrel shit. Stop with that desperate shit. 